Welcome. We need some preparation for this lecture. You need to add another static body. If we call them platforms, this will be third platform. So third static body. You can put it in uh, some angle, in some negative angle, for example, three or six degrees. And after that, uh, put the static body with collision shape. So when we start project, we will have uh, three platforms, one, two, three. And uh, we will need to add some things. Uh, first, we can add uh, one uh, background. Uh, find color rectangular. So, write color. Color. And uh, find color rectangular. Uh, this is it. Create, click on create. And this uh, rectangular move it after the root node. And when it is there, you can you can put it somehow like this. Uh, if you want to change the color of this background, if you don't want to leave it white. Just go here and change to any background you like. This is okay. So, for in a color property. Uh, don't forget to put it after root node, so other node will be above it. Automatically, you don't need to uh, set uh, some other properties. Also, we need one button. Uh, this is very easy, just click on adding, right button. And uh, in this list, uh, try to find uh, uh, under the control sub node button. Click create and you will get something like this. You can write uh, text in this button, just click on text in the inspector window and write something like use integrator or uh, just you can write use but write use integrator and uh, when you put it somewhere here you will uh, uh, have a scene 2d game scene like this so you will have three platform one unvisible collision shape here, rigid body and one button above it. And now we can learn how to create a signal for the button. So click on this node, go to inspector window, card node, click on button down, click on connect and uh, you need to have script, GD script, of course. We are created in one lecture before. You don't need anything to change here. Just click on connect and you will get some code inside your uh, GD script. We attach GD, GD script to root node. So let me check this. Uh, when we go to this script, we will find function like this function on button down. In this function, you only need this text for beginning. After that, we will add something here. And when all of this is done, we only need to set some parameter for our uh, third static body here. Go to constant angular velocity. This is second parameter and you can write uh, 0 0.3 in constant linear velocity, you can write 15. Of course, you can experiment with values later. And uh, now we only need to do some things here. 
you will need to go to function on button down and write this code. You can write it easy if you just write dollar sign and start with R, then select rigid body, please press enter, dot, and after that just write set use custom, integr uh, custom integrator. Uh, with custom integrator, uh, we have uh, customly set uh, 2D physics. So we will not have 2D physics because we don't define our uh, uh, 2D physics. We will define it in some uh, later, later lecture, but I will show you this uh, very shortly. So when custom integrator is true, your uh, rigid body don't move. And when you, when you turn off custom integrator, your rigid body will move. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will uh, continue in the next lecture. In this lecture, you definitely know how to create custom integrator, how to create button, and also you know how to set uh, constant angular velocity, which is easy part. With constant angular velocity, in our situation, we can get uh, some kind of bouncing. Look here. We can get some kind of bouncing similar to previous bouncing, but this bouncing is slowly fading as you see here and only constant linear velocity on x-axis with rotation is happening. So this is a little bit different effect than this previously showed. And here you see what is going on when you have constant linear velocity and some obstacles, so rotation is going on. Thank you for watching. We will continue in the next lecture.